Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. We are going to do a little bit of painting today on the fender skirts. Um, I've got some, I got some Metal Pro paint there. Um, this is not something that I'm, this is probably the first time trying this, and what I'm doing is I'm trying to uh, emulate what's going on with the car itself. I've got a picture for this car in my brain, and the picture is to have it look the way it is. I'm, I'm going to end up probably putting some clear on when we're done, but to have the car look the way it is without having any big rust holes in it or anything like that, try to clean it up the best I can, and then we'll clear coat it, but leave the patina on it. So I'm, I'm basically, I've got a picture in my brain how I want it. So I want, would like to have the fender skirts match the car somewhat. So I'm going to mix up a little bit of Metal Pro. We'll put a little bit of paint on them. Uh, we'll probably end up doing a few things to the paint to, you know, may basically the car has been um, left alone for quite a while and has, and has gathered some rust and stuff on it. The paint's not the best on it. So I'm going to try to imitate the exact same thing on the fender skirts. We'll get it painted, but I don't, I'm not sure if we're going to get it rusted today uh, because that's going to take time. I'm thinking that we looked up on the internet and vinegar is the best. So what we'll do is we'll paint it. We'll put some mess in it, and then we'll take and put some rust on it after. So uh, this paint dries within a half hour, I think. It, that's, it dries pretty quick. So we'll put some paint on it. We'll put some marks in it uh, where, the, where the metal, where the vinegar can rust it. And then we'll try to see what it looks like, basically. So I'm just going to take some paint here. I got some paint. We're going to mix her up. Put her on and see what it looks like. The fender skirts, I'm not going to put no fill on the fender skirts. It doesn't make sense to, to be honest with you. The rest of the car hasn't got any like that. This stuff here, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to make disappear also. I, I'm not sure. I might want to put a little tiny bit of fill on, on where that weld mark is. I'm not sure of that yet either. I can bang it around a little bit more with a hammer to make it come out where it should be. But uh, basically, I want it all one color, rusty, and blue. That's basically what I want. And that's what I'm going to do. I've got a picture in my brain. There's a, there was a Cadillac. I've seen a picture on the internet. There was a Cadillac that had a trailer on the back of it. It was a 30-some Cadillac. And it was a red oxide color, red paint. And they had a little trailer on the back. And it was towing a... Uh, a belly tanker race car and uh, it really caught my eye it was something that you know you would probably think that it was always that way but I'm sure it took a lot of work to get it to look that way and uh, I'm gonna pour a little bit of paint in here this is not the color that we're gonna be using obviously and I'm just gonna try to I'm gonna pour enough paint in that I think we're gonna get both fender skirts painted that should be lots that's our main color is blue one thing I, I am not I am not good at, uh, or not the best at, well, I can mix paint no problem, but I, I'm not um, that guy that goes in and mixes up paint and, and matches your car and that sort of stuff. But let's face it, we only got uh, blue, black, and red, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We did a little bit of this over Jim's place that day, and... Uh, I know one thing, it doesn't take much paint to change the color on something. So we're just going to swirl that around. It's going darker already. And basically we're just going to walk to the side of the car. And we're going to check it out and see. And Jolene's going to help me out on this. She's got a better set of eyes than I do. And she's going to say when. Is that okay, Jolene? Mm -hmm. That's not quite dark enough. What do you think? No. A little darker? Mm -hmm. A little darker, boys. A little darker. I like to get my fingers in it first thing, and then I know I'm into it. Then I'm not scared to get my hands dirty. I have some red there. I'm 
Not sure if I have to dump bread in it or not. What do you think? Want to try some red? Yeah. I'm going to try a little red. What the hey? playing with it. And there might be a certain solution or a certain color that I need to make what I need, but I only have what I have and I'm not going out and spending any Look at that now, would you? That changed the color of it. What do you think of that? Not bad, is it? Mm -hmm. Or closer, isn't it? What do you think? Put a daub on it, try it. We think too dark. Uh, almost seems grayish. Grayish? some on there what do you think just watch yourself when you step back do you want a little more red in it or a little bit a little more blue in it just a tad more blue and every time we add paint to this cup um, it just gets more and more paint and I'm, I'm not a, a big waster of paint but Guess it's only cheap paint. There's no hardener that goes in this. This dries really quick, this stuff does. Reminds me I should put the covers on. This is all the leftover paint from Jolene's uh, race car hauler. Pretty near the same color. Put some more blue in it. Don't look bad, like it's not. I'd say we're pretty close, aren't you? Yeah. Would you paint it? Let me see that first. Like we're not going to get it bang on, I don't think. With and, and and that I'm not sure of either if we get it bang on or not. But that's it's not bad. I'm going to end up be putting stuff on it too and what do you think is that the word to say go for it all right let's do it let's paint it let's make it that easy all right sounds good to me Jolene has said the word let's paint it so did I mix that with thinner last one I painted with the truck I did didn't I I did I'm going to put a little bit of thinner in that because that is, seems to be fairly thick. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's stir it up and see what we got. I'm going to stir it up. I like my paint thin. And the reason I like it thin because it sprays on nicer. You t and the reason I say thinner is because when you, when you take a spray bomb and you spray a spray bomb on something, the paint is really thin and it generally goes on good. And it dries quicker. When you get paint that's thick, um, you think that, you may think that you're getting, you know, a better job because the paint is thicker, but in all honesty, I, f I find that thinner paint is nicer to spray. That's nice and thin. It's not really the blue, is it? Like it's kind of a gray. Do I want more red in it? Yes. Yeah, so, more blue, or it's kind of purpley, isn't it? Blue. More blue and black, or just more blue? We had the okay once, and then we come back out and. We'll have enough paint there to paint the whole car if we keep it up. 
And all that's doing is lightening it. It's not really changing the color at all, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. The black would change the color. It's kind of purpley. What do you think? Don't like it? You want black in it? <laughs> I'm going to have this cup full here in a minute. She says, nah. No more, no more red though, eh? The red ruined it, she said. And oh, that was a lot of black. We can spray it again. What? What do you think? I just think we're playing with fire, to be honest with you. We're going to spray it on. What do you think? So dump it out? The red ruined it, you think? Huh? We were okay with it there, but... Oh well, let's put it on. I can put another coat on it after we make it rust. Now this does not have to be the last time we paint it or anything like that. We'll just put a little bit of paint on it and uh, go from there. And to be honest with you, um, I'm not wanting to cover everything on the running on the fender skirt, anyways. And the reason being is I want place for the vinegar to work, so I want bare metal in places. I'm generally not, uh, I'm not good at this, and this is the first time I'm doing it, but uh, it would probably take a bit to make that look like that, you know, it'll probably take a little bit. And you know how we all are, we want we want coverage, and I'm going to put a little coverage up here, and basically the sharp area, like the top piece here where I'm painting, put, putting paint on now, that would be the place that you probably would expect rust, and uh, we'll, just, we'll just spray it and go from there. Try to make it work. Now I'm trying for a poopy paint job, remember? I want some metal showing for... for the rust. saying I'm done. <laughs> Why? Baby's just smiling. What do you think? I don't like that. Just... Well, I got to get rust on it somehow. And I would never get rust on it if I paint it. So that's basically what we're thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Put a run or two in it too, shouldn't I? Whew. We might want to open the door. going to open the door. We haven't had snow most of winter. We had a little bit of snow, obviously, but every, it's every day since we've been back, we've been getting a little bit of snow. That's what it looks like. A little bit of fluffy stuff. Julian's going to show you what the outdoors looks like. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. I'll just let the wind sail through. It's not that bad, not that far off. It's not the best, but it's not that far off. I'm just going to doesn't matter, I guess. We want it to rust. I gotta have metal showing to make it rust. So If the hose hits it, it's on purpose. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell everybody. It's on purpose. Now, what I'm thinking that we're done. I'm not going to spray any more paint on it. And the reason I'm not going to spray any more paint on it is because I want bare metal to show. I'm going to do a couple things to it. Maybe. I'm not sure if it should have more paint on it. Maybe it should have more paint on it. I'm not sure. Think about scratching this brush through it in a few places. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's dry. <laughs> it's dry, just like that. It's dry. I'm just kind of wondering. Do it again. I want to put more paint on. Make it shiny in a few places. It's not even shiny, is it? make it shiny in a few places not even shiny put some more paint in there oh, we didn't waste much paint it's only a little tiny bit in there so it's good it's good Taking more of the It's not really the, the same color, but it's not, it's not bad. Jolene hates when I say that, and she asked me something. I said, how was that, darling? How was supper? I said, oh, not bad. She don't like that, because it doesn't really give you information if it was good or if it was, 
<laughs> if it was bad, but I'd say not bad. That's just a saying I say a lot, not bad. What are you thinking, Jolene? Should I take it off and throw some, some vinegar on it? Don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. Don't want to get my handprint in it yet, I don't think. But it's it's damn near dry. Should it be shinier in places? You well, it'll be shinier when we put clear coat on it, will it not? Yeah. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bench. Pull this bench over here. I'm going to take it off. I guess if I get my hands in, I guess it doesn't much matter, does it? Are you able to let the vice grips off the other side? Beautiful. Not every day you paint something, then you pull it off, and then you do what we're doing. Um, a spider crawling on it. I'm going to take it outside. I'll take this outside. here now I want some vinegar too. we should have bring that vinegar up should we not should I run down and get it mm -hmm. where's it at you can, you can all right we're just gonna pause for a second and Jolene's gonna run down and get the vinegar pause all righty she went down the house and got the vinegar and we're back at it it only took her a couple seconds she's quick on her feet as you can tell she's got no shell Jolene, my beauty queen, Jolene. Generally, you do not. Uh, and like I said before, um, this is my first time. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But we'll soon find out. We'll soon find out. I don't know if the water is would de dilute it. Probably not a good idea to have it in the water. I'm not sure, but water causes rust too, so that's what I'm thinking. I've got something all over my hands. I'm going to grab the other fender skirt and what I'll do is I'll leave them out here today and then we'll get to see um, to be honest with you we'll get to actually see what what does happen and uh, when you know, I don't know what it's going to do where the paint's at but it's got some rust there in the center and the paint's not thick all over and it's got some places where Grab the other one. Should rust all the way on the bottom. Grab the other one off the car. It's a beautiful day for it. It's a beautiful day for it. We did not get, as you can tell, it's not a color match, that's for sure. But uh, it is what we had, and I'm doing with what I have. And there also can be paint sprayed over top of that once the rust, once it starts rusting, then if I get a, a bluer color that I think, I can spray a little bit over top of it to make it come around because that's a nice undercoat, that's for sure. Tight 
and right. It's all right. We're trying to make it look old. Okay. Hey. All right. First step to make something look old: drop it. <laughs> no problems to be here. Didn't hurt it a bit. Didn't hurt it a bit. And you know why? Built bad, Chad tough. And as you noticed, we did not put any filler on the stuff. I think it's the first time I've ever made something and never filled it out to make it look the way it should. It's all right. It's all good. We'll get some vinegar and pour on that. Let's see what happens. How much is vinegar? Not very much? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, you're not taking off yet. You got a job to do. You got a job to do, man. Oh, it's dripping on that fender down there. I wonder what the. What the hey? Alrighty. Is it doing anything? Maybe the water is diluting the vinegar down. Maybe it should be just sitting with vinegar. I'm not sure. Makes me want to get a cucumber and slice it up and put some salt and pepper on it. You know what I mean? Huh? That's what it makes me want to do. Alrighty. Here's step number one. To making our fender skirts look old like they've been there before uh, basically just gonna leave them there uh, let the water hit them let them do what they have to do I'm uh, from what I understand it was instant rust from vinegar was it not it's on bare metal. if it's on bare metal well we've got basically bare metal going on there I'm thinking not many times I've painted something and then I've wanted it to rust, but uh, that's what we're doing. Um, so basically, I'm just going to leave it there for the day, let it rust. I feel like I'm going to. I went outside and got some tires uh, for making, you know, if I had, if I was going to do side mounts, I'd want white wall tires in there. I had a couple old, they're just junked white wall tires. They're 16 inch and I can use the, the original hot mobile or not hot mobile um uh, terraplane we have a hop obviously hudson terraplane um so this this wheel is you can see that it's cracked but i could still put it on a rim and make it look good in in a side mount i get looking at the cars on the internet and i like the idea of having side mounts so i think i'm going to go for it i'm going to put it i'm going to do a dual side mounts and the reason being is I've got a vision like, you know, this was maybe, I'm trying to make it look like it was maybe a, a real expensive car in its day. In the, in the end, it was probably was one of the most reasonable cars that you could buy of the, of the Hudson. It probably was with a four door, never had no fender skirts on it. It never had no, no extras on it, never had the side mount on it. Um, it never had the fender skirts on, like basically is what I'm thinking that I'm trying to make it look like it was one of the most expensive cars you could buy at the time. So if I put the side mount, I'm going to put dual side mounts. I don't think these cars had uh, two side mounts. I think you can get them with one, but I'm, I think I'm going to do a dual side mount. And that way there I have another white wall tire on each side to give it some, some uh, brightness. And then basically after I get the dual side mounts done, I think the, the vision of the car is almost over. I was thinking of, I don't want to, you know, uh, gum it up too much with stuff, but uh, I do like 
the small inch or inch and three quarter like pipes you can buy you can i could get it run under there and bring it one out here underneath the running board um, you can get them at speedway you can get them with three turnouts or two turnouts or one turnout but with if i change the engine in the car uh, it'd be a cheap way i'm just thinking of a cheap way for the exhaust um, you can buy these fairly reasonable the exhaust could run down and come out here and we could hook a, a leg pipe up there it would look good I, i'm thinking but basically, I just want to keep it. I'm going to end up painting this stuff I said. I think I'm going to paint that stuff just so it looks like it could have been that way uh, from 1936. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm going for. All right, everybody. Thanks for coming back. It was kind of a video that I don't know what's going on. First time trying to make uh, patina look like the car. We didn't even get the paint to match. But that's the paint that we're using there that we have. So we're going to use it until we get there. Um, and it can be painted again, obviously, when the rust comes or whatever. Um, we can obviously scratch it up to as it gets going there and as the rust gets formed and that paint can be scratched so there can be more rust available. Uh, I'm not interested in trying to paint the rust on uh, with anything because, you know, it is rusted. And if we can get them to rust somewhat like the car is, I'd be, I'd be happy with that. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. We appreciate it. Uh, just trying to make the fender skirts look like the car. And um, it doesn't happen just like that. It's going to take some time. And we're going to leave them out there tonight. And then tomorrow, we're hoping that there'll be rust. Um, I'm thinking that pop and that sort of stuff used to make rust too, I'm thinking. It had the acid in it. We have a few things that might be able to make rust quicker. I'm not sure. But uh, you come back tomorrow and you'll get to see what we got going on. If it has rusted at all or what's going on. All right, everybody, like, share, comment, come back tomorrow and we'll be here.